going to be in San Francisco, right? Of course, you guys got the cable cars out here. Notice this? Seen this? The cable cars? Of course, the only problem is they don't got cable. All right, Kyle, we're going to play Name That Kids TV show from right. the 90s. We have some screenshots for you. <laughs> you did some snooping, though. Yeah, I did do some snooping. <laughs> I saw some pics of your VHS collection <laughs> at your place. Okay, do, should I show the camera what I'm looking at? Yeah. All right, so we got this, this one right here, uh, which I can tell what it is. I wonder if Dave knows. Dave might know. I mean, I remember. I, I, I'll just never remember. This is, uh, I believe, Jim Henson's Bunny Picnic. Yes, that's right. Bunny Picnic. <sighs> okay, now here we got this one. This is a, a, a seemingly like a, this is like an older man with a group of kids. Uh, I'm going to say this is called something like the Magic Christmas Tree or Grandpa and the Magic Christmas Tree. Very close. That's a Uncle Nick in the Magic Forest. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not, not too far, right? Yeah, yeah. Close enough. Uh, now, this I definitely know. This is uh, Prayer Bear. Uh, it's a specific episode of Prayer Bear. Pray to me and I will answer you. I don't think this is volume three, Time to Pray. Do you know the episode? Do you know what episode it is? No, you got This me. is Prayer Bear, though, which features the uh, vocal talents of Steve Green. Okay, here we go. This is, this is uh, some sort of uh, purple-looking owl, and I, I recognize this one. I want to say, an yeah, I want to say it's called, and I could be wrong, something the effect of like Know It Owl or something yeah. like that. You got it. The show's called <laughs> Mr. Know It Owl. Uh, okay, we've got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> this is a, this is a clown with. Some sort of naval <laughs> person. I think it goes with another card over oh, there. Oh, really? With the older guy. I bet I could. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yep. Oh, so these. Okay, so this yeah. this one right here. Yeah, that one. So this. So I, I might have. Is this Grandpa's Christmas toys or Grandpa's toys? <laughs> so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa's magic. Okay, so toys. it's Uncle. Yeah, Uncle Nick and the magic. Okay, toys. so Uncle Nick. Oh, yeah, and there's more magic with Grandpa's magical toys. Um. Yeah, I've we watched this. This is one we will bring on. I feel like we'll put on like around Christmas time with the with the sound off, because uh, it's a fun one. It's got some fun visuals. Uh, okay, this is almost looks like a kind of HR puffin stuff type character, and uh, and a green big green bird, and uh, I recognize this one. I want to say this is a musical. Um, could be like a we sing or wow, uh, we sing. You are correct, man. You're on <laughs> fire, Kyle. Well, now this is the tough one, um, I'm, and and uh, when I uh, and and I'm looking at it, and are those real, real boys? <laughs> these are two very real-looking boys. Uh, okay, this one I'm, I might get wrong, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the fences here. Is this Peppermint Park? Yes, 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 <laughs> Peppermint Park. Good job, Kyle. Man, you killed yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I saw Brigsby Bear in the theater, and I loved it, and uh, I thought it was a, a great, unique story, and I thought um, Kyle's character, James, has such a you know unique background, having grown up to this uh, kids' TV show, Brigsby Bear, and what I really thought was interesting was seeing how, you know, people... Uh, dealt with James who is you know very different but yet there's still some uh, tenderness in this movie where you get to see them open their hearts to him and kind of uh, learn more about his world was are there any parallels with you guys and coming up with your own brand of comedy over the years and, and kind of uh, you know adjusting and Saturday Night Live and 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 finding your way and having people get your humor and and your comedy are there any you know do you see any parallels there yeah. Uh, in general, so Kyle and I, you know, really fell in love with filmmaking together uh, and, and found our voice together. And we always had friends who either wanted to help or were really supportive and family members who were support, uh, supportive. Kyle's dad got us our first camera. We've been very fortunate to, to not really have naysayers in our lives and proximity and and we've always felt 
embraced in that our our voice was was being heard to some degree encouraged yeah uh, um so i think that you know maybe unconsciously seeped into the script when kyle and kevin were writing it i don't know you have thoughts on that uh only i mean to what you were saying about the idea of embracing outsiders uh i think that's a really nice takeaway i would love for people to leave the movie uh feeling that way or thinking that because uh we should do that and um i i i i what i like about the movie is like james has such a fascinating story and i think that's why people in his life are drawn to him and i bet there are a lot of people out there with cool stories too that should be heard i agree you know, you, you know, you have such a great cast in Briggs B. Bear, Mark Hamill, Greg Kinnear. I could go on. Was there anything you were surprised by when you got, were shooting with these guys? Well, I don't know if I'd say surprised, but I was definitely, like, excited by how little work we had to do in, in directing these great actors and, and getting them on board with the approach of the script. I think everyone who signed on to the idea was, uh, they all got what we were going for. We really wanted to lean into the sincerity of, of this journey that James is going through. And so when we sit down to, to talk with, with like a Mark Hamill or Greg Kinnear or, or Claire Danes, these people who are kind of larger than life to us and, and just such talented tenured actors. Uh, it was just really extremely refreshing to, to see them elevate scenes without, uh, you know, us trying to pry something out of them. Like they just got it and, and knew. Um, I don't know. Can you? Yeah. The, I mean, the only thing I'd add is just like for me as a, a person who's not done a ton, like a ton of movie acting was just being able to observe all of these pros. Um, like Greg, for instance, like he can make taking a sandwich out of a bag and popping open a Coca-Cola true cinema. You know what I mean? Like he brings an art to it that it's like so natural and fun to watch. Yeah. And he meant to that. He makes things look cooler than you could imagine in your head. Like, sliding a a coke bottle across the table like he just has you know he's like a coordinated guy he he knows how to stay locked in and not be thrown off by a physicality when he's delivering a line and it was a, really a inspiring thing to watch you know, you guys have some fiercely loyal fans, and when I watch your sketches on uh, YouTube and from SNL, you know, normally like you'd expect to have some trolls and haters and things like that, but everyone has your back on the sketches. They they love your stuff and they they want to see more of you. And I haven't seen anything like it. Like it's just so po overwhelmingly positive in the comments section. Um, what's your reaction to that? And you know, are you aware that you know you have all these fans that just love you and want to see more of you? And have your back i i don't really personally read it anymore i'm aware of it uh but I, I i can see why it makes sense in the sense that like you know i feel like these the people who um who kind of are into our sensibility and and, and into the material we produce i think they just kind of uh, want to come to defense for it because they don't get the opportunity to see it on the show but uh, i promise that there are people out there who are trolls and haters but uh maybe maybe in this case just aren't saying anything yeah, I, I think at the beginning, uh, when we were first starting to put videos on YouTube and, and that whole experience was new to us, being able to see comments from people around the world on our videos. And it's, it is really exciting on one hand, but uh, then, yeah, you, do, you stumble across that person who's like, this is lazy or stupid or whatever and then it's just yeah, like you, you should not be alive yeah. here Re really dark <laughs> disturbing <laughs> messages so uh kyle's really good about it. i'm uh getting a little bit better about uh avoiding that type of stuff and just critiques in general but i think that the the goal has always been to make each other laugh and make our friends laugh and and to not engage with or or take to heart uh you know 
outside opinion 